In this video, I'll be taking you through citation practice number one, Healthy Habits for Teens, which specifically will be using a Google Slides document in order to cite information both as a direct quote and a paraphrase um, correctly in MLA style um, to meet my specifications. And then uh, we'll also be going through a work cited and making sure that's done correctly. So I'm going to give you the tools which I think will help you do this um, assignment the easiest and best way possible. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is what's in the assignment. You've got a checklist. This is the things that I expect you to do in this assignment before you turn it in. So use that. In this assignment, I've also included um, MLA style PowerPoint presentations, Folgate Library Research Guides. I thought that this was a pretty good guide to MLA style, so feel free to flip through this and look at how they cite different things, the title slide, what information's there, right? Just like in your MLA paper, that should be there in your title slide. You can flip through and see how they've done their citations for a quote or for a paraphrase. And look, clip art does not require a citation. So if you use clip art, you don't need to worry about it. But if you use a figure from the internet, you would need to um, cite it appropriately as a figure. Uh, tables would have the entire citation and then your works cited and how that would look. My preference is that works cited would have the second line indented just like it should on your paper, but something like this I would take as well. So that resource is there for you. Attach this assignment. Now let's start. We have the beginning of our presentation here and I'm just going to split my screen quickly. The first article I provided for you is this one by um, Mom Junction, written by Manjiri Kobrika. I'm never going to pronounce that correctly, but it's just an article about healthy habits for teens to follow. So I want you to find an interesting quote. How about this one? Teenagers are more prone to follow bad eating habits, inappropriate sleep routines, adopt bad habits, and while away time online. Sure. We'll copy it. We will paste it over here as, can't see it very well, a direct quote. And since it is a direct quote, we would need to put the author's last name which we saw here was K-O-C-H-R-E-K-A-R, Kobrikar. Okay. So, teens are prone to bad habits. There can be our title for this slide. What else would I want to put from her? Okay, so things they need to do, like establish healthy eating routines. And if I want to paraphrase that, I would, instead of establish, maybe implement. healthier routines for meals and snacks. That would be another way to say the same thing, but it's still right the same idea. So it's from her, so we've got to give her credit, even though it's my words, right? My words, her idea, she still gets credit. Let's see if we can't find something else just for fun. Incorporate physical activity in your daily life. So, incorporate physical activity, direct quote. 
same thing. Got to give her credit where credit is due. So there is, pull the checklist back out here. We have done source one, information in a direct quote. Source one, information used in a paraphrase. Okay. Now we do need to make sure that we get that citation into um, our works cited slide, right? So we'll do a new slide down here for our works cited. And I'm gonna use um, docs to create that. So I'm just gonna open a new doc here. I actually like this tools and then citations better than I like the um, citation machine. I think it makes fewer errors, makes you actually go through and add the information, but it does a really nice job. So I'm gonna use the tools, citations out of docs. The first name was Manjiri, the last name, Kukrigar, and then the title. A lot of times you can just copy Paste it over website title. Looks like it's Mom Junction. Um, publisher, I'm not sure, but we'll probably just leave that off. Uh, see if I can get this whole URL, paste it over. Let's see, published day would be the 15th of March 2019. The access day, I'm creating this video on the 31st of March, 2021. And then I'll just add my citation source. And the cool thing is this tool allows us to see the insert text, insert and in-text citation. So it would just look like that, just like I did. But then at the end, we're gonna be able to create our bibliography with all of our sources. So I'm just gonna set this aside for right now. And we'll get our second source up and use it in our presentation. Now we're just going to add another slide here for our next article, which was good. Whoop, lost myself there. Good health and hygiene life skills for teenagers. So health and hygiene skills for teens. Let's find something. We can use, again, I'm not really trying to make a great presentation. I'm just showing you the formatting and the citation skills here. So she says, here's a list of regular hygiene habits your teen should engage in. Oh, wow. So there's a bunch of them. We can, I don't know, direct quoting that whole thing would be probably a mess. So we could say some... Some things teens should do daily are, and then we could do some bullet points. And brush teeth morning and night. That one would be a paraphrase because it's not brush teeth twice daily. I did morning and night and Whitmer is her name. So we'll give her credit. How about this one? Let's direct quote this. Use personal hygiene products correctly. So then we'll put quotation marks around it and Whitmer. And clip and groom fingernails, sure. Paste that one once again. We direct quoted it. So we've got to make sure we give Whitmer credit. Okay, so we've kind of got those going, I think. According to our checklist, we've used information in a direct quote. We've used information from source two in a paraphrase. We have not used a picture from a source. So let's see if we can find one that would make sense. Sure. I like this one. So let's just copy this image. We'll see if we can just paste it straight over. 
Sometimes it works, sometimes you have to go around. It worked. So here's our image. Now this is going to need to be cited as such. This is the first image we've used in our whole presentation though. So we will go with the text box, I would say. We'll call this one image one. And then the source. Um, let me pause for a second. So we, we need to put a figure number and then we would also need to write what it is, but then also in parentheses, um, the citation source again, just like an in-text citation. So let's do that. So I went with image one, brushing teeth, and then the source where we found the picture was Whitmer again. All right, so now we got to complete our work cited. We're going to add our next citation source back in our doc. Our first name was Denise Whitmer. The title was, and it's a big one. Yep, okay, and the website title is Very Well Family. Um, the URL is here. The published day was the 27th March 2020, access day 31st March it's today, 2021. Obviously yours will be different. We'll add the source. Now that we've gotten both sources, we can insert a bibliography, which we will copy and paste straight over because it looks so nice. In alphabetical order, double spaced, so now we'll just take it straight over to our works cited, control V, paste it in, and it looks super professional. So we did use a picture. We do have a works cited with both sources. It is alphabetized by the first word, generally your last name of your author, and the second line of our works cited entries are all indented. Last thing, let's go back to our title slide quickly. Um, you would have to put your own student name here. The class I'm teaching right now, Computer Apps 2, my name, the teacher, Miss Libby, and then today's date, you would fill that in, right? Or whatever day it is. So I think now we have completed our checklist and you would turn this in. So this assignment, I walked you through the whole thing. The next couple of days are going to be similar activities. So good luck. You guys have got this. And as always, ask me as many questions as you need to.